On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Oh yeah. The following movie is rated I. Look at that. That thing's tiny. Finally got many or little present. Look at that thing. Look how small it is. Wow. Holy cow. Not this small. The smallest one's the one that I had that I ended up giving you. Nice. But that thing is tiny. I saw some reviews that it actually worked pretty good. I already took the old radio out. I was going to put the radio I had. But this thing is so shallow. And there's literally maybe a half inch behind that. And it's going to go right in that hole. So I put this on the bottom. I set this in the hole. Sitting on top of that bracket. Put this in front. And it's like right dead center. So I'll mark that. Cut that out. I guess maybe I'll put a little black piece of rubber behind it. To fill it. And these two holes I'll have to live with. Unless I could put like black stickers. <laughs> Not much. Not much. Love my Milwaukee. Oh yeah. Just cleaning up a little bit. That'll work. And that's about how much it's gonna stick out. Mm-hmm. I cut out a piece of bed mat material that I put in here. I had some left over. Hot glued it on. It's still a little hot, but this will just stick through just a little bit from the inside and then I can push everything in and put it all back together that should do it new 100 water glue gun works pretty good a little better my old Sears Craftsman which was 60 watts pretty good deal on that too wasn't that much money got it on Amazon made in China I'll put a link oh, there it is all lined up where it's got to go I actually tapped off the power from where radio was so that'll work out pretty good there put her all back together see what she looks like hey fit through here before what the hell must not be stretching as much you gotta shave a little bit more off the bottom probably because it's not flexing always better to leave extra material to take off anywho that should do it the hot glue good stuff Oh boy, she's a tight fit. That's perfect. Wow, look at that. So I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't keep memory. You know, some radios, like the old radio I gave Motor Rider, you shut the power off, and when you turn the key back on, or if you unplug it from a cigarette lighter, etc., that you turn it back on and it doesn't remember what channel you were on. This one does, which is good. Let's see if Nick has his radio on. How about it, did you hear me? Oh yeah, you're loud. This has a pretty good speaker in it. How about me? You hear me alright? Yeah, you sound good. Uh, no stat, um, 
static or noise behind it? Not at all. Nice. I guess we'll talk until we can't talk anymore. See how far this goes. Yep, I just pulled out of the driveway. Can't board air, good buddy. Probably should make it about to that sharp turn. The one at the end of the straightaway? Yeah, I guess, because then you go behind the mountain again. The speaker's pretty loud in this, and I don't even have it all the way up. I'll turn it all the way up now. Yeah, I'm not even holding the mic that close to my face. Ah, you should be almost kissing it, so you get a nice loud modulation. Now it sounds like there's a little bit of static. I just got on the straightaway. Yeah, yeah, well, there will be, because now, you know, it's AM radio, too, so... Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that's probably about the distance. You're a couple miles now. Maybe, what, two, three miles through the woods? Yeah, I'm going around the corner, so you can see later. All right. You can try talking a little bit until we've totally gone. I hear you still pretty good. Yeah, I guess that's about the end of it. Well, that's not bad. That's uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm gonna hook the SWR meter up and see what I'm getting for SWRs with this. Maybe see what I have for power. I don't know how many old schools are out there, but how many have an old Royce SWR meter left, huh? This is old. This is even before my time. All right, we're all hooked up. Doing the forward set. Last time it was like 2.0. Yeah, a little under 2.0. That's not bad considering where that antenna is. See how close that antenna is? I'll live with a 2.0 SWR. That's the best I could get it last time. So let's see how much power this radio actually puts out. Hello. One, two, three. Wow. What am I on? Oh, I'm on a hundred scale. Help if I put it on a ten scale, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that. One, two, three. Ten watts. Probably because I got two SWR. Two SWR is a little high, but... I think that's about the best we're going to get it. I'll try it halfway. It's higher. All the way in is the best, boys. Last time I tried this, that's all the way in. That's the best I could get it. Gonna have to live with it, probably. Since the SWRs are like 2.0, it's doing like a 10 watt output. There's no swing because it's all stock. There's probably aftermarket mods that you could do to it, but I'm not going to mess with it because it's going to stay in here. This CB here has no channel selectors on this. Your channel selector goes from here. It's like not quite a full size mic, but it's a decent size mic. So now to squelch, that's automatic squelch, which has to be done by the buttons on the mic. ASQ, it detects the noise of the received signal. And the smaller the noise, the better the signal is divided into nine levels. A1 is the lowest level. A9 is the highest. Okay. And then if you hit it again, it goes out. Now if you hold the squelch, or I guess that long, see it took the ASQ away. Now you're on normal squelch. That's the normal squelch setting. I kind of got used to the ASQ on some of the other radios and it actually works pretty good. 
So those are your two squelch settings. Of course, this is the volume. AF. See, it's a auto tuning, so it's gonna scan. So that's just gonna scan until it picks up a signal. It's picking some kind of dead carrier signal up here. That shuts that off. If you hold that button, doesn't seem to do anything. RF gain. I have it all the way up. That's all the way down. Let's see. That's uh, 48. So that's to attenuate the receive signal. So leave that off, so the little R is off if you want to have the highest signal coming in. Then of course, emergency is channel nine or 19. It goes nine or 19. Well, I guess it stays flashing as you talk. So it's either nine or 19 as an emergency. And then it goes back to whatever your preset channel was, which I want on 19. Not a bad radio. The volume is very high. As you heard, I mean, the speaker on this is on the bottom. It's really loud. Of course, I rather have squelch knobs and knobs for all these adjustments, but all these radios are coming that way now, so I had to use a strain relief here because I have my spring-loaded microphone holder, right? And it pulled up on this, and of course that's where the button is, and it kept popping this out. So I knew that would be an issue, so I fixed that there. So that's it. I like it. 60 bucks, and the thing is so small. I mean, you could put it in anything. I mean, this thing is... What? A little less than four inches wide less than an inch thick it's like 15 16 thick this would be great for like a ATV or UTV if you want a CV anything anything that pretty much everything's compact today the cars even the new trucks they don't give you any place to put a CV this will fit boys this will fit on the back of it, there is actually a speaker output, which is one of those eighth inch jacks. There is no PA, just speaker out. I wish I had a PA, but not, not many of them have a PA. If you hold the EMG button, it locks it. So now, okay, you can't do anything. It's locked, except the volume. Now I guess it's off, right? Yep. Pretty neat radio. And uh, the instructions aren't too bad. Pretty legible English. Man, he's got a new radio. Oh, yeah. Links are down below or at MotoCheese.com. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.